Hello, and welcome to Political Science 15B, Essentials of United States and California Government. My name is Dr. James Brent, and I will be your professor for this semester. This video is intended to serve as a brief introduction to the course and hopefully answer most of the questions you may have. Let's get started. There are two required textbooks for the course. The first is an online-only textbook entitled Global Lyceum. The second textbook is entitled California Politics, a Primer by Rene Van Vechten. There are a total of 220 points possible in the course. Two exams worth 40 points each, eight short assignments worth 10 points each, an outline and list of sources worth 10 points, and a research paper worth 50 points. There are two exams, a midterm and a final. They both consist of a mix of question types, and you'll have 90 minutes to complete them. And the final exam is not cumulative. The exams can be found by clicking the Quizzes tab on the left-hand side of the Canvas dashboard. The course consists of a total of nine modules. Modules are like chapters or topics. Each module has an activity to complete. These activities should be about two pages long, and I don't accept them late, but you can skip one without penalty. Well, I'll have to take a mulligan on this one. These module-based activities can be found by clicking on the Assignments tab on the left. The research paper consists of three different parts. The first step has no points associated with it. You merely select a topic and get my approval. For your paper, you'll be writing about a specific law or executive order that has been proposed by President Donald Trump. The second step, which is worth 10 points, is an outline and list of sources. This should include a one-page outline of your paper, along with 15 sources that you might use, at least one-third of which should be academic. You should also use proper bibliographic format. The final step, which is worth 50 points, is of course the final draft. Your final draft should be at least eight pages long and should use at least eight high-quality sources. It should be argumentative and it should attribute its sources. Finally, each module contains a series of short video lectures that you'll be responsible for on the exams. You can find these lectures by clicking the Modules tab. This video has hit the high points, but there is a syllabus and you should read it very carefully. And if you have any questions, contact me at james.brent at sjsu.edu. And let's have a great semester! <laughs>